What if I told you there was a way to save the state of 25 individual things in a single variable? Well, there is, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video right now. Before we start, I just need to say the gadget to do this the scene that you're seeing right now and the dream to make this work are all in the description. And it's also extremely important to note, I did not make this. I don't even know how it really works. I kind of know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how it works, but I, I did not make this. Og the Enigma made it. So 25 separate things. Let's just get clear what a thing is in this case. It's either on or off. To save 25 different things in a single variable, those things need to either be one or zero, on or off, dead or alive. You're not gonna be able to save like 25 separate, like seven digit numbers. That's not, that's, that's not what this is. And in the intro demo, it was either on or off. Uh, this could represent whether or not you've picked something up, whether something's dead or alive, whether uh, a light is on or off, stuff like that. What, maybe like whether you've completed part of a quest or not. Here it is, by the way, this is the gadget, the 25-bit variable that, that we'll be using. Basically, we have 25 inputs, 25 outputs, and 25 toggles. At the very start of the stream, this logic, this, this magic black box, will set the toggles based off of what the variable save, save them as. I think a better example is if we go to the dream and then edit and then re and then uh, restart so you'll see that this this uh this chip is setting the toggles of all of they're they're initializing the toggles right and then when we play it goes away and we can freely change the toggles and we're constantly saving the state of 25 different toggles i keep saying toggles it's it's just the state zero or one on or off in this little example we can grab to toggle it on and grab to toggle it off, right? And the variable number in the top left, you see, will will update, will update accordingly. Uh, this number means literally nothing to anyone, unless you, I, I don't even, <laughs> unless you're a computer. But uh, basically, th uh, the the chip is well. This is just encoding all of these all of these toggle states into into one number. The encoding's the easy part, the decoding is the harder part. Um, this is what is decoding it. This takes that big number and turns it into 25 different toggle states. I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to do this. I'm sure you could look it up. I don't really care. All that matters is that, um, is that it works. So we are successfully loading the state of 25 toggles from a single variable and saving the state of 25 toggles in a single variable. And that's basically it. Let me just show you like what I did in this demo. So I'm getting, for, for example, this is output, this is, this is for the first one. So I'm getting output zero. And if it's on, the keyframe's on. If it's off, the keyframe's off. And to toggle it, I hooked it up to a grab sensor. Um, I make it a thin wire first. And then, it, so if you grab it, it toggles. Uh, let me let me go into test mode So if I grab it it toggles and if I grab it again it untoggles, right? And we're constantly saving right here. We're constantly saving And that's it this is really really nice if you're low on variables there you can only have a hundred and twenty eight persistent variables um in, for, to, to save in a dream. Persistent meaning like it's saved, right? Uh, if you exit and come back, it's saved. So if you're creating a dream that needs to save a lot of different things, th using this technique makes a lot of sense. If you're not saving a lot of different things, there is literally no reason to use this. If you just have like 10 pickups and that's it, just do one variable per pickup. If you have like a hundred pickups, this might make more sense. Um, 
So I hope this video helped uh, bring attention to, to this technique. This is the spiritual successor to my first video of how to save seven numbers in a variable. Different technique, like under the hood, but it's the same idea. We're saving a bunch of different data in a single number. I really hope this video helped, guys. Let me know what you use this for if you do end up using it. Uh, if you have any other tutorial suggestions, let me know. I would love to hear them. If you need some dreams help, my Discord is an excellent place to go, as well as my Twitch stream when I'm live. I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. I just wanna be with you.